Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to find the inverse function followed by graph sketching. So now, given the function fx is equal to 1 over x minus 3, a, find the inverse of f. So the step to find the f inverse, let's f inverse x is equal to y and f y is equals to x so now we are going to substitute the function of f with a y so meaning that 1 over y minus 3 is equals to x so now i'm going to rearrange the situation so that y become the subject so my suggestion will be cross multiply so we will have 1 over x is equals to y minus 3. So rearrange. y will be equals to 1 over x plus 3. So as we all know, actually y is equals to f inverse x. So finally, f inverse for the x is equals to 1 over x plus 3. So this will become the inverse. So next part, I'm going to sketch the graph of f inverse. So based on the situation, f inverse is equal to 1 over x plus 3. So as we all know, this is a graph of reciprocal. So first, we are going to determine the domain. So for this case, x as a denominator cannot be equal to 0. So the domain for f inverse is equal to negative infinity until 0, where 0 is not included, union, 0 until positive infinity, again, 0 is not included. So now we are going to sketch the graph. So what we have to do is to uh, refer the domain. So the domain mentioned that x cannot be equal to 0. So that is an asymptote. Okay. So referring to the graph, y is equal to 1 over x. So the coefficient for x is a positive. So our graph will be towards the right hand, hand side. So this will be the graph. And as we all know, the graph does not touch the x-axis or y equals to 0. So this is a horizontal asymptote where y is equals to 0. Next, the situation is y equals to 1 over x plus 3. So what kind of thing plus 3? The value for y plus 3. So now the situation add-on or increase becomes 3. So the horizontal asymptote become y is equals to 3. But the asymptote for vertical still the same, which is x equals to 0. So now the situation shift up. So the graph will be something like this. So now we have to determine the x-intercept when y equals to 0. So when y equals to 0, so we will have negative 3 equals to 1 over x. So x will be equals to negative 1 over 3. So the coordinate will be negative 1 over 3, 0. So here will be negative 1 over 3. So the function y equals to 1 over x plus 3. So here we are and thanks for watching.